Now we're gonna talk about a topic that it's all in, in everybody's minds uh, at some point at least. In the last we're gonna talk to Ed Kim, Vice President of Auto Pacific, and James Bell, Head of Consumers Affairs for General Motors. How are you, Ed? How are you, James? Doing great. Thanks for having us. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, so we're talking the topic of buying a new car, uh, which can be uh, pretty almost intimidating to some people, even though there's a lot of uh, new tools and information available, right, M? Especially like websites like Auto Pacific. Right, yeah. In fact, Auto Pacific studies uh, consumer behavior relative to automobiles, and, with, and then we share that information with the uh, automakers to uh, uh, let them know what the consumer has on their mind. And what the consumer has on their mind in regards to car shopping is that they're frustrated. They're frustrated, because, especially in comparison to uh, what it's like to buy other things. Let's say you're buying uh, a refrigerator or a washing machine or anything else. You can go on to Amazon.com or if you're buying a phone, you go to the Apple Store. And it's a very streamlined experience. Uh, you, know, you go at, uh, and uh, meet with a very friendly sales associate who's not trying to push anything on you. Uh, you know, the pricing structure is very clear and understandable. There's no tricks. And uh, you walk out a few minutes later with whatever it is you bought out of the Apple Store. And that's not the same case uh, with many uh, with with, uh, with many car dealerships, where you may be stuck for hours negotiating over price and being subject to high pressure sales tactics. Uh, overall, that does make it a very frustrating experience for a lot of customers. Yeah, but uh, if we go to the uh, digital uh, world. I once read uh, recently the, in a study that there's like uh, 18 sites that uh, the average consumer goes in before start to become to making a decision. Like that's, I mean, that the amount of information can be overwhelming too online. Right, right. No, absolutely. The the internet has uh, uh, the internet has really changed the way that people um, uh, people get research when they're when they're shopping for a vehicle, and it's also very cool to see that General Motors in particular is uh, harnessing the power of the internet to make that car shopping process easier. So I'll turn it over to James. Yeah, Javier, we're excited to uh, announce today something called shopclickdrive.com. And to your point about you know all the different sites that are available, uh, it can become a little overwhelming. If you're in the market for a Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, or Cadillac, it just got a lot easier. If you go to shopclickdrive.com, it allows you to uh, find a local dealer in your area access their inventory and make sure that they've got a vehicle that uh, matches what you're looking for. You can then put in information about your trade-in vehicle, get an estimated trade-in price. You can uh, make sure that all the discounts are plugged in. In fact, we have a discount on through June 30th uh, for the military and all veterans across the U.S., which is uh, obviously a huge number. That discount is automatically applied. Uh, if there's any uh, loyalty or conquest discounts that's applied, you know, because one of the big concerns people have when they buy a car is to uh, feel as if they're they're leaving money on the table. And yeah. you go to shopclickdrive.com, all that money is automatically applied. You can even do comparison of uh, leasing versus buying a vehicle as your best option. See that uh, difference in price points on a monthly basis. Uh, you can basically do all the hard work from your living room, print out a certificate, Take that to the dealership, uh, then you do your test drive, sign the papers, and you're done. So you're really knocking away a lot of the discomfort and, uh, and, and problems people have had by allowing you to do it from the comfort of your home. Yeah, but uh, one thing that you mentioned, I guess, at the order, for example, uh, sometimes people are thinking about buying the car, they go and test drive it, and they're not gonna re they're not ready to make the decision, but the salesperson push them to try to make it immediately, and that's understandable because they're there to do business, <laughs> nothing wrong with that. But, yeah, that's right. But, like, so in this process, you can go in and then go back uh, uh, and do this process online? Yes, exactly. So, yeah, yeah I mean, in, in many ways, test drive the car, get a sense of it, if it meets your needs and your family's needs, then go home and do the what has traditionally been the uncomfortable part, uh, do that on uh, online at home, and then go back to the dealership with the paperwork all done, it really, uh, you know, is the best of all worlds. Yeah. Ed, uh, do you have any suggestions for people who are going to try try this? Because, I mean, there's a lot of uh, information, financial information, your credit score and all those kind of things that you have to have ready when you're uh, making this decision. So uh, what are your suggestions to make this process even easier? Well, you know, knowledge is power. Uh, the, more, the more knowledge that you're armed with, 
before you go into the dealership, the better off you're going to be. Uh, there's so much information out there for the taking. Uh, there are sites like Edmunds.com or KDB.com where you can get a lot of information as to what you should be paying for a vehicle, uh, read, uh, read extra reviews, or even read reviews from uh, people who actually own the vehicle. Uh, then, you, then the uh, manufacturer sites themselves are also a great resource because they provide very detailed information on specifications, uh, trim levels, uh, standard features, uh, options, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so the more information that you're armed with before you go to the dealership, uh, the better off you'll be. Yeah. And uh, James, um, uh, there's there's web, some websites that offer this kind of service, sort of, and then they have uh, dealers competing. And uh, for example, here where I live in South Miami, Florida, I have a Chevrolet dealership within a half a mile, and then mm -hmm. a Cadillac dealer, uh, another one like two miles away or three miles, five miles, I don't know exactly. And a dealerships competing also for this or it's like throughout the General Motors uh, dealership network? No, I thank you so much for bringing it up. And, and you're right, that's been actually a source of discomfort for some people when you put your information into a website and then you get attacked from dealers all over uh, your area kind of competing for your business. In this case, uh, the dealers are partnering with General Motors on this program. Uh, we're at about 40% of the dealers across the U.S. And, and growing. This program's only been in a pilot phase for about a year now. And so, no, in, in the case of Shop Quick Drive, you're actually, it's like you're going into uh, the, the dealership that you want to work with into their computer program or into their computer system, I should say, and, and looking at one particular dealer's inventory, looking at the, uh, the financing options that that dealer is giving you, looking at a rough idea of what the dealer is going to give you for your trade-in. So, no, you're always really focused on, on one particular dealer. The beautiful thing about it, though, is that you're getting all of this stuff done up front and as deeply as possible. All the discounts, all the programs are being offered before you go to the dealership, so you're not worried about leaving anything, uh, leaving anything behind. Yeah, and uh, so this is uh, moving a little bit towards the, 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 the model in Europe where you actually order your car and then you wait sometimes weeks or months, right? So in this case, can you order specific cars with different uh, the, um, accessories and all that or, or you're limited to the inventory in the dealerships? Um, well, you would have to work with a particular dealer on that. I mean, the, the premise of the project today is to really kind of focus you on the dealer stock that they have there uh, today, whatever is in, in inventory. But if um, it's not available at that dealership, they can obviously work with other dealers around the country to have that vehicle delivered to you on a, on a dealer trade. Or if it's a very special vehicle that doesn't exist anywhere yet, then obviously they can uh, work through the, the order process for you as well. But We find that uh, the vast majority of the people who are using shop drive thus far are uh, more than happy to just take uh, delivery from uh, what's in stock today. Yeah, we want it now. Huh? We want it even fast. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I don't want to wait for anything. We're, we're a very um, uh, quick to uh, find comfort. Uh, marketplace here in the U.S. Yeah. So, Ed, can you, you give us a, a, a few... Uh, Uh, tips uh, for people who are uh, in the process of uh, buying a new car in terms of budget because like the online experience as you mentioned at the beginning can be very easy for some other uh, things actually I just ordered some monopods and like accessories for my video cameras and it was done in like three minutes and like you don't have to worry too much about budget and stuff and payments uh, but a car is a different story so can you offer a few tips uh, in terms of uh, money I mean finance and what should you be right. paying Right, right. Um, you know, I, I said before, you know, I said before that, you know, you got to go in armed with knowledge, and that's definitely true. You know, there's a lot of places where you can uh, go to to find uh, what the what the dealer cost of the vehicle is. Uh, you know, sites like Edmunds or KDB will tell you what a fair price of the car is. Uh, that's all. That's all very helpful. Um, it's also it's it's also it's also important to negotiate negotiate with the total price of the car in mind, not the monthly payment. That can actually lead you uh, down a dark path that you don't want to go. Uh, you would uh, you really you really want to negotiate the price of the car itself and then go from there. Uh, James, I don't know if you have anything else to add. Yeah, the thing I would add to that it is um, it's also important to know your personal information much better. Uh, know your credit score. Go to uh, the different sites that can get you access to your credit score, and then look at financing options other than what the dealer's going to offer. The dealer might have the best program in town. Uh, you won't know that until you test it, but it's good maybe you go to your credit union, go to your local bank, and see what sort of 
uh, financing programs they have because it's not just shopping for the car it's also shopping for the best uh, personal finance program yeah and also if you're making like 50,000 a year you probably can't afford a hundred dollar thousand a, year, a car right well you might be able to lease it though <laughs> and that's what's good about that program it does leasing does allow you to drive and put in your driveway more vehicle than you can uh, possibly afford to buy Uh, as long as you meet the, uh, you know, the criteria of leasing, you're not driving too much, you take good care of the car, et cetera. So, uh, but yes, I would think that $100,000 might be a little bit too much in that case. <laughs> Ed, anything else on that? No, I think, uh, I think, I think James pretty much not, uh, <laughs> covered it all. Excellent. Two of us, we, we're, we've got it all figured out. Excellent. So, Ed, uh, autopacific.com, uh, that's where uh, our audience can look for more information? Yes, autopacific.com is our website. And uh, James, uh, the website again for the new service from GM? Sure, it's called shopclickdrive.com. Excellent. Thank you very much, gentlemen, and uh, we're going to be sharing all this information with our audience on our social media pages and everything else. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. Bye. Pues ahí está, compra de autos de General Motors a través de Internet. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting. Thank you.